Hey guys, it's JMA once again, back with some more 3D printing stuff. So, for most of you who have 3D printers, uh, i3 variations specifically, you're dealing with uh, an Arduino Mega and a RAM port. And while they're good, uh, I think this is an, uh, an 8-bit processor with uh, 16 megahertz running speed that's great and all but we need to step it up a bit i got this today and as you can see it's a smoothie board so uh, let's go ahead and open this up here and see what's inside now i decided to go with the version that has got all the separate pieces that need to be attached to it which is fine we're going to go ahead and pop this open here right now. Now, with the smoothie board, you've got a 32-bit processor that runs at, I believe, 128 megahertz. So, a lot faster than the old Arduino stuff. Uh, this one's the four times, which means it's got enough to run my i3 um, printer. Uh, which in, in in my case is a Folger Tech i3 2020. Um, but I've had some issues with the, with the other stuff that I have with the RAMS boards. The, uh, they're great and all. It works, but it's kind of clunky and it's not as quite as fast as this is going to be. And this actually offers you a lot more options. You can run a, a color LCD screen. Uh, the processing is a little bit faster, so you can do faster prints. Uh, th there's a plethora of reasons of why you'd want to run this as opposed to the Ar Arduino. Now, granted, uh, a, a ramps board costs you four bucks. It's about two or three bucks for each one of the ramps um, chips to put in here, and then obviously the Arduino is about twenty bucks. So. It's it's a a good run of the mill sort of starting point, but if you're really looking to step up your 3D game, 3D printing game, this is kind of where it's at. So if we look at the back of this, we've got uh, USB for programming. Actually, it's not even really for programming; it's for uh, connecting to your printer. So if you want to print from a computer, you can do that. They they give you an SD card. Now the firmware for the board is actually on the SD card and it comes with an SD card so let's see what size this is it's only four gigabytes which isn't much but that's all you need and technically you can run your prints off this SD card um, that also contains the firmware so if you want to do different setups you can swap out cards and whatnot so there's a, a bunch of functionality and upgradeability with this board which is awesome so, uh, the other thing is it's got an uh, uh, Ethernet connection. So, you can, from what I understand, now I, I just opened this up and I've kind of read some stuff about it. Uh, you can hook this up and, and monitor where the print's at. Uh, it's, it's got its own kind of sort of web server based kind of thing. So, you can send prints via the web to it, I think, but I'm not quite sure. And if I'm wrong on that, leave leave a comment down in, in the comment section down below. But uh, basically, uh, w with this version of the board, I have to solder everything together. Now it was it was about ten, maybe twenty bucks cheaper, but I, I don't mind soldering stuff. It's always kind of fun to solder, and um, at least for me. And it's um, that's why I got the iron over there. But uh, so uh, you can see. The board's pretty big compared to an Arduino. You know, if you were to lay this sort of out, it's still a little, it's, it's about the same size, just laid out in board form. So, we got cats fighting over there. Anyways, uh, so th th this is pretty much it, the, the smoothie board. And, uh, Wow, they're really fighting over there. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not. Anyway, so I, I got to start soldering parts together. 
Uh, that's going to be for another video at, at some other time. Um, but you can see some of the traces on here where they say, you know, what part goes where. So uh, those are end stops. And I think there's uh, one, two, three, four. These are for the uh, um, the stepper motors and some ver other various things. So I'll go over some of the more um, intricate de de uh, details when I go through and solder this board. But uh, just kind of wanted to show you guys this for now. Uh, this is going to go into my larger printer, uh, which I recently bought a 12 by 12 inch heated bed. And that will be in the larger printer that I'm making currently. So, but for, for initially, I'm going to be setting up that board with my current running printer while I build this other one. So, because of the larger size, I kind of want to get something that's a little bit faster. Uh, if this works well, I'll probably end up buying another board. As I said, they're about $148, I think, for the board. Um, but anyways, so I'm, I feel like I'm rambling on at this point. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to be doing a build and assembly of this soon. Uh, it's kind of getting late tonight, so... And, and um, probably end up doing this tomorrow. So, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share. And as always, guys, do your thing. And don't forget to hit that bell button.